Hi guys, it's the Power BI guy and today I have a really neat trick that allows your end users to clear everything that they've made as a selection in a slicer with the click of a button. So instead of having to do every single one, they can just click one button and it disappears. So for example, if I select this slicer, then select all these categories, instead of your end user having to clear these individually, they can click the clear button and it will reset all their filters. It's really easy to implement and it really does help your end users. So without further ado, let's start this lesson. So the first thing that you want to do is create your report with your slices that you want. So let's create our report and then bring in some slices. So I'm just going to bring in another one called product name. So once we have that set up, what we need to do is take a screen grab of the page in its current state. So what I'm going to do is select view, bookmarks, and then we're taking a screenshot of the page in the state that it is right now. So if we have any selections or any type, if we searched anything, it will record, it will snapshot that as well. So make sure everything is absolutely blank. Now I'm going to create a new bookmark and just call this page uh, filter clear. And now we have a snapshot of this page the way it is. The so next thing that we need to do is create a button. So I'm going to go to home, now insert buttons and then blank. Now if I bring this over here, the first thing that we can do is go to button, turn the action on, and then uh, uh, bookmark, and then we want to select our new bookmark, which was page filter clear. And let's let, put some text into our button. So uh, style, let's put some text. So let's make it look a bit prettier. I'm going to put clear, the font color I'm going to use as blue. Turn the fill on, make that blue once again transparency down the text we want actually want as white and then for the shape I'm going to round the edges so I'm just going to make that four so let's make this a little bit bigger and make our text a little bit bigger and now what happens is that if we select one of our slicers so if we set one of our options and then click our slicer because we gave it the action to go back to the bookmark it will reset whatever was in that slicer. So whatever's on the page, so if we made any selections, it would reset that as well. Because essentially what we did was with the bookmark, we took a snapshot of the page and we're now saying with Claire, go back to the blank state of the page. It's very easy to implement. Now actually to make this button a little bit better, let me just show you how to make it actually look like and feel like a button. So for shape, we've got on hover, we want so for default let's make this rounded so i'm going to put that as eight and then for our style we want on hover so right now is our default states like this but on hover we want the text to be blue and we want the fill to be white so this way when we hover it switches so it actually feels like a button then if we selected some of our options and then click the button it will reset so it's very easy to implement so i hope that helped and have some fun with it your end users will thank me for it and thank yourselves so without further ado it's the power bi guy don't forget to like and subscribe 